All right, guys, so today I'm going to go through my live streaming setup. I'm going to go through all the components involved in the chain. I'm going to show you how to set it all up. I'm going to show you which software you need to download and basically go through the whole process from start to finish. It's a relatively cheap but high quality way to live stream. So let's get into the video. All right, guys, Neil from Neil Collins Recording. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back to my channel if you're not. As always, either way, appreciate you watching my video. If you do like the video, if you can give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, um, subscribe to the channel, and remember to hit that notification bell so I can let you know when new content is released. So today's video, we're just gonna go through my live streaming setup. In this video, I'm gonna go through the setup from start to finish, what you need, what components you need, what software you need. In the description below, I'm gonna leave links to all the components in this video so they're nice and easy to find for you. So let's go through them. So, first off, you are gonna need laptop. Not sure the minimum spec you'll be able to safely live stream on, but you'll wanna do some research into that. If you don't have a laptop or a Mac, there is something called a YOLO box that I will link to in the description below, which is like an all-in-one live streaming unit. They're a bit, it's a bit more expensive, so if you have got a laptop, I would use this way. But if you haven't got one, then you might want to look into the YOLO box. I've heard good things about them. Um, like I said, it's a bit more expensive. But if you're going to be live streaming a lot, it might be worth looking into. But if you have got a decent laptop, then this is the method that I would use. So, we've got the laptop. And the next thing you're going to want is one of these. It's a Camlink 4K USB. Okay, so that's the next thing you're going to want. And basically, this is the bridge between the PC and your camera. So this USB just plugs into the USB on your laptop. The camera plugs into the Camlink, and then you can live stream straight from your camera onto your PC. The next thing is a camera. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using one of my Lumix G7s. Um, anything with an HDMI or mini HDMI connection is fine. So nice little backup camera for your kit, relatively cheap, shoots in 4K. So I'm going to be using that. To connect the camera to the laptop, you are going to need either an HDMI cable or a mini HDMI cable. For the G7, it's a mini HDMI cable, so that's the one I'm gonna be using today, but otherwise, it's an HDMI cable, and neither of these cables come with the actual Camlink USB, so you will need to buy these separately if you haven't already got them. So that's the cables you need to connect the camera to the Camlink. The Camlink does actually come with an adapter so that you can use a USB to HDMI. If you've got that cable for some reason, then there is an adapter that does come with the Camlink USB. Okay. So the next thing that you're going to want is the Rode Go Wireless system. So you might have already seen it. There's a link to the Rode Wireless Go uh, distance test, first impressions. I've done a video on that, so check that video out. I'm not going to go too much into the Rode Wireless Go system today, but it's a great wireless microphone. The transmitter goes on your talent, receiver goes on your camera, and that's how you get good audio. Ooh, change of angle, uh, won't get used to it. I probably won't be using this much, but it's just so that you can see my laptop and what I'm doing. Uh, please ignore the mirror in the background. I couldn't find anything to cover it up with, so we'll just have to deal with that, try to ignore it for now. So you've got your Rode wireless microphone. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is download the software to live stream with. So open up your laptop and type in OBS. And the first link that comes up should be OBS Open Broadcast Software. So click on that. It'll open up the OBS Studio website. And on there, it will give you links to the downloads for Windows, Mac, or Linux. All free of charge, open source. Download that onto your laptop. So when it's downloaded, I've already done it earlier on. Open the OBS software on your laptop. And it should look something like this. Uh, it might look slightly different between PC and Mac, I'm not sure. So we can now start putting it all together. First thing you're going to want to do is connect your Rode wireless microphone to your camera. So you're going to want to get the Rode receiver and it's got a little clip underneath that just slides onto the hot shoe mount. Okay, so that just slides on like that. Then what you want to do is with the cable that comes with the Rode wireless Go, is connect the receiver to the mic jack 
port on your camera. Okay, so now your Rode Wireless Go receiver is attached to your camera. That's ready to receive decent audio from the Talon. So that's all set up. Now what you want to do is attach the camera to your laptop. So I'll just show you how to do that. So like I said earlier, this is the G7. So we're using the, it's got a mini HDMI cable. So we'll attach this end to the camera. And then we're going to attach the other end to the Camlink USB. And then the Camlink USB goes straight in to your laptop. So now you go to your laptop and where it says video capture device, you want to go to add, you want to go to video capture device. And then in the device tab, it should give you Camlink 4K. Turn the camera on. So now your camera is now connected to your laptop. Now you'll see there is a tiny lag, but that's quite common. Um, you're going to get that with most. If you're live streaming a wedding or something like that, no one's going to worry about a one second lag or something like that. So don't worry too much. We have a 4K camera connected to the PC, ready to live stream. It's as simple as that. So what we're going to do now is switch on the receiver on the Rode wireless microphone. Okay, so that's that on. And we're going to turn on the transmitter. So that will then go on your talent. If I was live streaming a wedding ceremony, I would attach that to the groom and that will pick up the efficient and the bride. You can either attach this as it is to the groom, it's a little recorder, or you can plug in a lapel mic and use a lapel mic. It's up to you which do you choose. It has got, a, has got a little mic on top, but you can plug in a lapel mic, which I probably would do, probably give you slightly better audio closer to the talent. So that goes on your talent. So that's your basic live stream setup right there. You've got your audio transmitter going into your audio receiver that is now going into your camera. You've got a camera recording 4K, and that is now going in via the cam link to your laptop. And that's it. And then to start the live stream, all you do is you go to OBS Preferences. If you go to the second option down, it's Stream. And then there you can choose which service you want to stream to. So it's got Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Periscope. And then you just choose which streaming service you want to use. Get the stream key, put the stream key in, and off you go. Really simple, but fairly high quality 4K camera. I think it can broadcast in 1080p on OBS. So that's all you really need, full HD broadcast. If you don't want to use OBS, what I might be trying out soon is just using a Zoom and um, just setting up a Zoom call with, with all the family um, and do it that way. So. There's certainly different options. You don't have to use OBS, but it's a really good bit of software if you want to stream to all these different platforms. So yeah, we'll just do a bit of the whole. You watching me, watching you, watching me type thing, watching you, watching me. So yeah, there we go. That's how you live stream using the Camlink, Rode Wireless Go, and OBS. And that's it guys, that's my live streaming setup. Like I said, I did another video on this Rode Wireless Go and it should be stable up to 70 meters. So provided your talent isn't more than 70 meters away and there's not too many objects in between, then it should be fine. I am gonna do a mock ceremony in another video where I test this all out and um, to make sure it's working as it should. So definitely check that one out. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so that I can notify you when that video comes out. As I'm making this video, we're in the middle of the COVID thing, so I think there's going to be more call for live streaming weddings and things like that. Live streaming is definitely something worth thinking about. I just think this option is quick, easy. It's fairly inexpensive. You got by the cam link, £115. Links to all these below, like I said before. Rode wireless go about £160. Sorry to the Americans watching this, you'll have to do your own conversions into US dollars. And as long as you've got a laptop and a camera, that's all your costs. You may need to invest in a, in a longer HDMI cable. 
The only other thing you might need to invest in is a personal hotspot. Now, I'm planning on using the one for my phone. It's usually pretty good signal and pretty stable, but it depends on where you are, really. You may need to invest in a Netgear personal hotspot. I think they're about £280. So they're quite expensive, but that will boost your wireless signal. Could use the Venues wireless signal, but once everyone else's phone is connected to it, then it's not going to be very strong. So you're better off having some sort of personal hotspot, even if it's just your phone. That would be better than the wireless at the venue, I would suggest. Look into it. It's always good to do a bit of research on these things and plan ahead. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it useful. Um, if you did, if you give it a like, um, leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Let me know if you have any suggestions on your live stream setup. If you think I've missed anything or if you think there's a better link in the chain, then let us all know below. It's all good to learn off each other. So please do take time to comment below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm releasing content twice a week at the moment. Uh, Netgear reviews, tutorials, all that sort of thing. Uh, all free of charge. So please do subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so I can notify you when the next video comes out. And I will catch you all next time.